Shalom and blessings, warriors of Yahuwah and the truth. Tonight we are continuing on with video 29 of, um, yes we are, Beguiled, Eden to Armageddon, Volume 1. We are on Holy Grail Legend, or Kodesh Grail Legend. Legends of Knights Templar pro portray them as guardians of the mysterious object called the Holy Grail, a legendary vessel used to collect Messiah's blood. Hidden within this Holy Grail legend was a great secret, a chalice that they claimed would one day be changed from the crucified Messiah back into it, back into a child. It seems instead of a cup, their Holy Grail vessel was the blood-soaked Holy Shroud of Turin, or Kodesh Shroud of Turin. Although not a typical communion, communion cup, as has been portrayed in paintings and myths, the shroud does contain an enormous amount of Messiah's blood, much more blood than a mere cup could have ever held, because Yahushua's blood is alive. It does, it does have power to give birth to a clone child, who can live in his image, which ironically is the same title as Rorvik's book discussed earlier. This cloned image will grow up to look identical to the crucified Messiah, who Templar secretly called King Arthur. Templar legends concerning Camelot are an allegory about Yahushua's return. Their Camelot in the future was to be a return to paradise here on earth just as Gnostics preached and Templars worshipped as a coming heaven on earth. Templar rec record, er, records indicate they practiced secret teachings from agnostic ancient texts of Babylonians and Egyptians, notorious for advanced alchemical sacred sciences. These sciences were shrouded in great mystery and their wisdom was handed down through the ages to ensure Yahushua's blood would survive until a coming generation could change the chalice filled with his divine blood back into a man. Grail legends of King Arthur acknowledge the once and future king will live again and establish Camelot, meaning paradise, on earth. Templar legend concerning the return of the king is being fulfilled in our generation. The Holy Grail is the Templar Order's Stone of Destiny. Yahushua was a stone not cut with human hands, and the illuminated want to manipulate his divine nature for themselves, to their own means. What a destiny we are all about to witness as a cell of his blood, which has been protected by pagans with serpent lineage connections for most of its 2,000 year history, now lives again. Biogenetic technology of this generation has successfully regenerated their holy grail to become king of the world. Belief in a coming resurrection of the dead is evident throughout many pagan religions around the, our world. These religions have carefully buried or mummified their dead, believing corpses would live, live again one day. Only in this generation can simply retrieving a cell from any deceased body actually bring it back to life through cloning. Cloning means any living thing that has died and is dead like a stone, totally lifeless, can be brought back to life and have a destiny. It is no fluke of imagination that Templar's Holy Grail containing Yahushua's blood was called their stone of destiny. <clears throat> Even through Yahushua, Yahush even though Yahushua's blood appeared dead on the shroud, according to the late archaeologist Ron Wyatt, it has always been very much alive. Yahushua's divine blood will surely seal the destiny of mankind, some to eternal life and others to eternal damnation. Becoming divine was a, of great interest to Knights Templar. They were not only military men, but mis mystical initiates, magi, wizards, sorcerers, necromancers, alchemists, and sages, privileged to agnostic secrets handed down from the serpent lineage of the Babylonians after the flood. 
within Roslyn Chapel, part of the CHURCH of Scotland, and a core chapel of Masonic initiation, which Templars built. There is a unique stone in Roslyn's chapel, or CHURCH yard, where Knights Templar members are buried. A small tombstone of St. Clair Templar Grand Master has the Holy Grail carved upon, upon its, its length. Inside this engraving of a grail cup is an eight-pointed star, identical to the one the Serpent's Lineage's Pope and their clone of J-E-S-U-S wears today. This star is also found at the top of all drawings from a supposed lost book of Nostradamus recently discovered concerning his end-time predictions, which appear only as sketch symbols without words. An eight-pointed star was symbolic of the holy or Kodesh light in Messiah's blood, ac according to Templar secrets, which was designed to resemble an octagon with a centered rose. Gazing at this image for some time will cause it to begin to resemble a blood cell. The Grail Cup's base forms steps to Solomon's Temple with letters ER of a man's last name turned at a right angle like a set square of Templar and Masons. ER means et relique, reliqua in Latin and translates as and his remains or relics. <coughs> Such symbols reflect the sole purpose of Templar Knights to protect Yahusha's remains and identify their secret mystery concerning their return of the king, which everyone, well, most people on earth are going to think that J-E-S-U-S, the one that they're going to be bringing back, which is really coming from Yahusha's blood on the shroud, um, Everyone's going to be tricked. The, uh, the Christians are all going to be tricked. And, and once they turn it all into a one world religion, most of the religions on earth are going to be tricked. It's just people who have came to the truth will not be tricked. <clears throat> Blood of the Holy Grail was protected from generation to generation by Knights Templar, and their descendants made sure it landed in the hands of a future agnostic pope who worshipped the Black Madonna virgin cult, just like they did so, so it could live again. Next time we will be reading Shroud Owners and Age of Enlightenment. I hope you guys enjoyed the lesson today. And um, I'm going to sing a short praise song to Yahuwah. <coughs> Seek him and you will find him. Knock and the door will be open unto you. Unto you. Abba Yahuwah, you are my all of you. You give me strength, you give me peace every day in every way. You're always right there, right there beside me. So seek him, and you will find him. Knock, and the door will be open unto you. Breathe your ruach into me. Put in me a new heart. You replace my heart of stone. 
a little softened heart. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> Yahusha is coming for his bride on a cloud of righteousness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So diligently seek him. And you will find him. Knock, and the door will be open unto you. For Yahusha, for Yahusha, is waiting expectantly for his. To be that was called Seek Him, and I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as our Abba Yahu and the Shamayim enjoyed it. Um, I love you all with an everlasting love, as our Abba Yahu and the Shamayim loves each and every one of us. Shalom and blessings, warriors of Yahuwah and the truth. Please like, subscribe, and share. Um, you can also find more videos from Volume 1 and from Volume 2 on my other channel, um, Yahuwah's Beloved Daughter. Um, shalom and blessings.